Hello and welcome back. So what we have here so far is we are able to see which class somebody belongs to, the classes like in this case here. And we can click to go to the class itself. But the only problem is if I click to go to this class, you see that uh, this one is a lecturer here, Mr. Vibe. But if I go to the profile of Mr. Vibe and my classes, you see that uh, there are no classes here. The classes that he teaches are not shown here, which is not accurate. So we need a way to get, because it's not showing the classes here because he's not a student of any class, he's actually a lecturer. So it has to be clever enough to know when this is a lecturer and where to get the classes info from because there are two different tables so we can fix that real quick here now the only issue here is the query um, let's see here so there are two things that need changing first of all we will need a different query and then we're going to need a different Actually, we don't even need a different model because the only thing we are getting from this student model is the query function, which is available to every single model. So it doesn't even have to be this model right here. In fact, we could use this classes model right here to read this information from here. This way we save on resources. So let's see if we can get this class used instead of the student class since we are specifying uh, we're already specifying the table here in the query and we're not doing anything special like reading extra information after the query here so let me just limit this mute that and exchange the stud here for the class like so so here we are using the classes model, but we are reading from the class students table, right? So let's see if we see any difference whatsoever. So I'm going to go to students and click on Bob Marley to see if there will be classes. And as you can see, it's accurately showing the class still. So this is great, right? Now, let me go back here. And since we don't need this, let's remove it. So the real issue here is the query because it's the one that determines the table we're reading from. But everything else could remain the same because um, the columns in the student, uh, the class students table and the class lecturers table are pretty much the same. So which means we just need to change the table name right here. So what I will do here is this. If the page tab is classes, that's okay. But we also need to check to see if row is actually a thing. So copy this and let's come down here and see row. So if page tab like so, and we say, what do we do here? And row like this sorry there uh -huh. so if both of those are correct meaning this user information it should work so we refresh and it's working fine now what i want to do is to check if so first of all i'm just going to say the default table is let's just call it my table so my table is equal to this one right here, the class students. So I'll put that there. We're going to first assume everyone uh, we're reading from is a student. However, we can put an if statement here and say if row, sorry there, if row rank be equal to lecturer like this. Okay. If it's equal to lecturer, then we change the table to 
to class lecturer. Like so, class lecturers. And then what we can do now is instead of referencing a table directly, we're going to put a variable over here. That should solve our problem. This way we use the same code, just change a few things and we have something else. So let's refresh and make sure everything is working here. And it is. If we do go to the class and find the lecturer and click on his profile, we should be able to see a class over here. And there we go. We actually see the class here, which he lectures. This is great and awesome. Cool. Alrighty then. So we are done with this. Now we can see classes here and we need to have a test thingy here as well. But for now, this is okay. Now what we need at this point is privileges. So here, um, if I click on add new, this will add to classes and it will take me here. But um, let me do this here. I've gone back. Uh, where is this? There we go. Okay. So also the edit and delete of classes should be regulated. We don't want... Um, if, if, for example, let's go to staff, right? If I click on add new, we have a list of ranks here. Okay, so student, reception, lecturer, super admin. So we want to make these things actually do something. When you're a student, you have limited access when you're a receptionist and so on and so forth. So let's see that in the next video.